Hello and welcome. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to a new Loxon product. It's the Nano Motor Controller available in Air and Tree. With this compact flush mounted module, we've created a simple way to integrate DC motors into residential and commercial buildings that are being automated with Loxon. So let's take a closer look. Regardless of whether it's a single family home, a commercial property or a custom application, the Nano Motor Controller is perfect for controlling and regulating the speed of DC motors. DC motors are often used for interior shading, such as curtains and blinds, exterior awnings and motorized skylights, for example. The Nano Motor Controller is available in Loxon Tree for wired and Loxon Air for wireless communication. Both versions are supplied with an operating voltage of 9 to 26 volts DC. The two outputs are pre-wired with a 150mm long 1.5mm squared pair of tails. Thanks to its compact design, the Nano Motor Controller fits into standard circular, square and rectangular back boxes. You can use the Nano Motor Controller in three different operating modes. In bi-directional mode, you can control a single DC motor and by means of polarity reversal, switch the direction. Furthermore, the speed can be continuously controlled. In unidirectional mode, two DC motors can be controlled with variable speed. However, there's no polarity reversal and hence the direction can't be changed in that mode. Then in PWM dimmer operating mode, you can use the nano motor controller as a one channel LED dimmer. Despite its very compact design, the nano motor controller has an impressive output. In bi and unidirectional mode, the maximum total load on the outputs is 2.1 amps continuous with a maximum permissible load of 3.5 amps peak for a maximum duration of 30 seconds. When used as a dimmer, the nano motor controller has a maximum current load of 2.1 amps. In bi and unidirectional mode, the PWM frequency can be adjusted between 1 and 10 kHz to match the requirements of the motor. In dimmer mode, the PWM frequency is fixed at 400 Hz. The nano motor controller also has integrated current flow detection and overcurrent detection. The current flow detection and overcurrent detection can be set between 100 and 3500 milliamps. If the set value of the overcurrent detection is exceeded, the device switches off and the digital input in Loxon Config is activated. Now you'll find detailed information on how to pair Loxon Tree and Air devices in our documentation pages over on our website. Once the nano motor controller has been successfully paired, you can then begin by selecting the required operating modes and setting the properties in Loxon Config. The current values can easily be set in this dialog box. Here you'll see the following diagram is drawn based on the current consumption of the motor. The limit values for current flow and overcurrent can be adapted here to suit the motor and you can even do a test run. Current flow detection and overcurrent detection are only available in bi and unidirectional modes. Next you can set the PWM frequency to suit the motor that you're using. However, you should note that the PWM frequency can't be set when it's in dimmer mode. Here, the PWM frequency is fixed at 400 Hz. Finally, you can define the acceleration and stopping pattern in percentage per second, as well as the default speed. Then, once you've set those values and selected the desired operating mode, you can start to configure the shading or the skylight or the LED lighting as you normally would within Loxon Config. That's been just a quick introduction to the new products from Loxon, the Nano Motor Controller, available in Air and Tree. You can find detailed information over on our website. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you're always up to date with the latest news from Loxon. That's all for now though. Thanks for watching.